Hey, how's it going everyone? Today I'm going to show you a great way to get unlimited fuel, aluminum, and rubber. Most of you might be familiar with a glitch that was released when this game was launched, which would allow you to go to this penitentiary and loot up a specific flame trap over and over again until you were filled up on XP and all the goodies. By far, this was one of the best glitches. And the reason why I'm bringing this up is because we have something sort of similar to it. Before we begin, lag will definitely help with this. This is absolutely does not involve the duplication camp object glitch if this is what you probably are thinking this is a completely brand new glitch if you are new to the game glitching is against the terms and conditions which is considered exploiting slash cheating and this video will involve that so if you do not want that please leave now and do not follow the glitch any further let's get right into the video you will want to open up your map then locate Pleasant Valley Station. If you're new to the game, this is located near top of the world, but of course I'm just going to show you right here. So fast travel to Pleasant Valley Station. All we have to do is wait till we are finally loaded through and where we will be heading is to the right. But before we do that, pause the game, go to menu and scroll all the way down till you see settings. From there, click on controls, which is the third one. And finally, click on ready slash reload. We are going to assign this button to the trigger button. Here soon, I will explain why you're assigning this trigger. But for now, exit out of everything so that you're just out of this menu. Open up your pit boy, go to perks. Then finally, you want to assign a perk card called Home Defense. A majority of you all should have this perk card already. If you're new, of course, you're not going to have this. You're just going to have to earn it eventually. But once you have that, assign it, exit out of your pit boy, and now you're ready for the next step. That means give yourself a pat on the back or a thumbs up. What you want to do is where we were just at, you want to go up to this hill and go through here. You're going to locate two of the flame traps in front. There's a total of six, but I'm going to show you what's going to happen. You do not want to tap the assign trigger button once when you disarm. Instead, what you want to do is spam it down multiple times. From there, you're going to notice a ton of items are added to the top left, as you see, and the XP says 77. Typically, you get six XP per a disarm. I was able to receive 77, so that means I disarmed it about 12 times before I was able to stop. I'll explain exactly what is going on. With the trigger button, you're able to easily press it down multiple times. On top of that, if you have lag with this, it's going to make it a lot easier. If you're on new gen consoles, or perhaps you're a part of the Elite Omega top tier PC race of the gods, if so, you might find some difficulty doing this glitch. There are a total of six flamer traps in this location for you to double the amount on each one with that trigger button. As you guys see, this is the first time doing it and I have 101 from doing this. And that means 101 aluminum and 101 rubber. When you have doubled your mount from disarming those multiple times with a lag in the trigger, you will then want to pause the game, leave the server, join a new one, and rinse and repeat these steps over and over again until you're satisfied. Here towards the end, I'll exactly show you how much fuel I was able to acquire from doing this glitch. It's absolutely worth doing if you own a flamethrower legendary because you might lack that fuel that you need. And if so, by all means, do this glitch and go through each one as I'm doing right here, and repeating those steps while I was doing this second run I only went for the first four flame traps I did not go for the last two the reason for this is because I was running out of room in my backpack so I absolutely had to go to the station you will find out why because of the fuel but as you guys see 200 plus aluminum and raw rubber as well as I was able to acquire tons of fuel this should help out a majority of you I'm gonna head on out thank you for taking the time to watch this video if you have any questions please feel free to comment down below and with that being said, can't wait to see you on the next one. See ya!